Okay, so today I'm going to show you all how to connect your canvas to Aries. And I'm making a video because when I did this, I had trouble a couple of times, so there's a few things that you really want to make sure you do. First, in Aries, go over here to Gradebook, and you want to add a Gradebook. Don't choose the year, choose the quarters instead, and associate all the sections. I'm going to name this Test just because I won't want this one later, and save, and that creates a gradebook. Now there's two main things you have to do in Aries to make sure all of this works right. Number one, manage students and add all your students to the gradebook. And if all the names listed here are correct, you can just add all students. Another thing you want to do is categories. You're going to want to add a category and name it. For example, ELA assignments might be one. Or within the ELA gradebook, you might want to name things like assignments and then have one that's participation, for example. Whatever you name your categories here in the gradebook is what they're going to have to match in Canvas. And if you don't have any categories here, the two gradebooks will not link to each other. So this is my real gradebook for Avid. You can see that I have all my students added. And then for categories, I have assignments and I have participation. So for me, participation is just little one point, did you do it or did you not do it type of things. Assignments will be worth a lot more points and the things that are actually graded. Now, in Canvas, you want to click on the class that you have. I only have Avid, but you're going to have probably an ELA and a math and a science and a history, one for each. Okay, you can see I have a module here. I used a plus module and I created one called Beginning of the Year Course Start. Then I used the plus on the module to add each of these little activities. This one is a discussion, and these ones are assignments. Okay, if I click on the name of this, it takes me to that discussion. It is published so the students can see it. If I click on Edit, this is what it looks like when you first create it. So I wrote the directions. I made it graded, so now it's graded in Canvas. And then one of the things that you must do is sync to Sys. I'll have to click that checkbox to make sure it syncs with Aries. Assignment group. Notice it says participation. That has to match one of your categories here in Aries. Another thing you have to do is you have to have a due date. If you do not specify a due date, it will not sync to Aries. Okay, click on Save. And now I'm going to show you, you can either go into Assignments to see all the assignments you have, and all of these are considered participation, so it's kind of like grouping them by category. Or you can go out back to Home, you can look at the module, and you can see what assignments are there. Okay, let's create a new one to kind of show you how this works. As you can see, I have a number 1, 2, 3, and 4. In Aries, if I go to my scores by class, you can see that I have a number one, a number two, and a number three, but no number four. And here's why. If I click on number four, and then I click on edit, you will see that I have it do not count this assignment towards the final grade. So it is not graded in Canvas, and I have not chosen to sync it to SIS. So when I sync grades, it will not sync. Both of those buttons matter for assignments. And again, it has to be the right assignment group, in other words, the right category, and it has to have a due date. Okay, so let's make a brand new assignment. I personally think the easiest way is to be at your home, to look at the module you're looking at, and to use the little plus. And then I'm going to click New Assignment. If I already had an assignment made, I could scroll through the list. I could find the category. For example, there's Participation, and I could add one of those that I made. I'm going to do a new blank one. I'm going to name it test, and then five test actually, and add it. Okay, it's not published yet. Students cannot see it yet. I'm going to click on it and edit it. Again, it's just a test. I'll pretend it's worth one point. It'll be an assignment. It will count against the final grade. It does need to sync to SIS, and I must give it a due date. So let's just pretend it's Friday and save. Okay, and now I can click on Publish, and now that means that students can see it. So on my home screen, it looks like this. It has a due date. 
it's green, it's published. When I switch over to the student view, the students can actually see it. They see a due date. Now when you're in that assignment, there's a thing called Speed Grader. As your students are submitting things, you can click on Speed Grader and it opens a new tab. Their names are over here and you can use a drop-down to find different names or you can scroll through them and you can grade their work. So let's pretend that Naeem did his work and he gets a 1. I'd give him a 1. I might say, good job, and I might submit it. You can go through the list of all the students that way. Okay, when I'm totally done with that, I can go back out in this tab, or I can even close this tab and go back out to this one. And now let's say, okay, it's time to sync our grades. How do I sync the grades? Click on the grades over here. You can see everything in Canvas. These are your Canvas grades. Notice that number four does not have a grade, because that's the one that will not count towards the final grade. There's an IEM with his one on his test. I click on Actions and Sync to Grade Passback Service. All of them are available to be checked. If this is grayed out, the most likely problem is that there's no due date. I forget that pretty frequently too. Click on Post Grades, and now it says Scheduled. Click to see progress. Okay, it takes us to the Grade Sync tab. It's on stage one out of nine, so it's just starting, and it says, hey, I'm running. If there are problems, it will let you know with a little red exclamation. You can click on it, and it will tell you what the problem is. For example, when I first was doing this, my category in Canvas did not match my category in Aries, so it wasn't syncing. Later on, I forgot to actually add the students to the gradebook in Aries, but eventually I figured it out, and it started syncing correctly. Okay. It's not on stage one anymore. What you have to do is refresh. Oh, now it's up to stage seven, so it's getting close to done. Wait a few more seconds, refresh it again, and it'll probably be done. It's on the final stage, and now it says completed. So now when I come back to Aries, it hasn't shown up yet because I have to refresh the page, but number five test should show up, and Inaim would get a grade, but he is not in my class anymore. So even if you grade someone who doesn't exist in the system anymore, it will make sure it doesn't do it here. Okay, let's pick some, somebody that actually is here, like Clara. Okay, let's go back to our home, that number five test assignment, the speed grader, drop down and look for Clara. There she is. Let's pretend she did it and got a one. Submit. Now I'm all done, I can close that tab. I can go to Grades, Actions, Sync. All of them are chosen. Post, Scheduled. And now this time it's going to be much faster because the system actually knows that only one student changed, so it will only sync one student. Refresh. I'll have to wait a few moments for it to get to the final level. Okay, so that probably took about 30 seconds for that to happen depending on how many assignments you have to sync, the longer or shorter it will take. Okay, go into Aries, refresh, and now Clara should have a grade and test. Okay, so let's review the things that you must do in order to get Canvas and Aries to talk to each other. You have to create a grade book. You have to make sure that each of the four terms, the four quarters, are clicked and that they are associated with the subjects, ELA, math, science, history, etc. You have to make sure that you have added your students in the Manage Students, and you have to make sure that you have the categories that you want in Aries. Then you have to make sure your category names in Aries match the group names in Canvas. So again, let's go into 5 test. let's edit, the assignment group in Canvas has to match one of the categories in Aries, and that's how it knows how to color code it and assign it. When you're creating assignments, you want to make sure that they count for the final grade if you want them to show up in Aries. You also have to make sure that you sync to SIS if you want it to show up in Aries, and you have to give it a due date in order for it to sync. One more thing, make sure you publish it in order for students to actually be able to see it. And if you're not sure, you want to totally 100% verify, 
you can always come to the home, click on student view, and make sure the students can see what you're trying to post for them to work on. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still in student view. Okay, make sure you're in your teacher view if you want to actually grade things. If it is an assignment, like this number five test one, sometimes the speed grader will show up here up in the corner. You can use that to open a new tab and give them all their grades. Once you submit, you can close it and go back over here. Then you have to use grades and actions to sync. And then you'll have to wait a minute or two for all of that to happen. If it gives you any error messages, read the error message to help you troubleshoot what's wrong. Okay, good luck and roar wildcats.